Welcome back to 843 TV here at the Golf Clubhouse here at Spring Island. And joining us today is Christian Pulitzer. He's been sharing all about his awesome position as the out Outdoors Activities Director. We've talked all about fishing, but in fact, there's a lot more to do outside. And let's start with something called sporting clays. I think a lot of us have heard about that, might not necessarily understand that. So talk about that sport if you would. Sure. Well, here at Spring Island, Lisa, we've got a sporting clays course, which is 10 stations um, where you go out and shoot each station and you can shoot uh, any number of targets that you like as little or as much as, as you'd like to shoot. But sporting clays in itself, um, we teach people to shoot that's actually a clay target that's projected from a machine mm -hmm. and it throws automatically and um, we teach you to hit a moving target. You know, a lot of people are used to shooting a stationary target with rifles and handguns and such, but Sporting clays is different and unique that you're actually shooting a moving target. So, I just love the feeling of our sporting clays range. It's so natural. Um, we have, don't we have a five stand? We have a five stand as well, yeah, where you can get multitudes of targets. We have seven different machines up at the five stand, and we also have an elevated shooting position there as well. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I like the 10 stand because it's just walking down this sandy road coming to each station and they're all different. And I think it's supposed to uh, emulate actual quail hunt and habitat there. It is, John. We've actually got a lot of members that, that quail hunt. Um, we have a nearby plantation that we have a relationship with where, where our members quail hunt. And we try to simulate the quail hunting situation as much as possible with the clays course. That's one great thing about sporting clays as opposed to skeet. Skeet is a regimented shot every time you move positions, boarding clays, you're actually walking through the woods and you're seeing different shot presentations and that's really what you'd see out in the quail woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's so natural, it's so yeah. beautiful. We said next time we're gonna film, he's gonna take us out there and, and show us a thing or two, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Love to do that. <laughs> and speaking of that, if someone has ever done this before, what steps do you take to train them and show them how to Take well, initially, the, when you first come to the clays course, we'll check your eye dominance. That's a big thing when you, you know, you want to shoot off the right shoulder. If you're right eye dominant or left eye dominant, we'll try and get you situated correctly. And then we start with the mount. You know, the mounting of the gun is the most important thing. And then we just go from there. You know, sporting clays is a, a hand-eye coordination sport. We've got a lot of golfers that come shoot, and we've got a lot of sporting clay shooters that play golf. So mm, they sense. go hand mm. in hand. We actually have a a sporting clays and golf tournament where we combine the two. So it's fun, we make it fun for everyone. If you've never shot before, it's something new and interesting to try. And I love, I love the fact y'all have uh, social shoots here, mm -hmm. and then on Wednesdays and Fridays. Yeah, we, have a, we actually have social shoots two days a week and we, we do it for ladies and men uh, separately. And then we also have some shoots where we, where we mingle, but it, it really is a social event. We shoot and we socialize, so yeah. it's fun. Yeah. Quite a combination, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. I like that because you can you can come and you can learn in a in a friendly environment and really start from zero and um, and, and and get as good as you want. It's to. very laid back, and and you know if you want to get some personal instruction, I'm a certified national sporting clays instructor. So if you want to come get some one-on-one -on -one instruction, we can certainly help you with that. That really, if you're beginning, I suggest that to people because you know you, the one-on-one -on -one is going to work out better than if you're in a large group. It's just better instruction. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned skeet uh, is another activity. Tell us a little more of that. Yeah, we're, we're actually installing a skeet range now um, out in the, on the sporting clays course and we're excited about that. That's just going to give us something else to offer to our members. And then we're also um, beginning to set up an archery range with 3D archery target we have several members that like to practice archery with a compound bow, bow or, or a long bow. So we're excited about that too. Wow, that's great. And I know y'all have made a lot of improvements down there over the past year with uh, bathroom facilities and clubhouse and... Um, we have, we have an outfitter's office now down there with a bathroom and uh, an, again, it, it's a place to shoot, but it's also a place to socialize, so. Yeah. I know, I love that, with a little porch and all the tables and chairs around outside and yeah. fire going in the winter time. It's, yeah, yes sir. It's mm -hmm. a great environment. As mentioned, uh, we were talking earlier, no matter what time of year we come to Spring Island, it's always beautiful, whether it's a little chilly like this time of year 
always so many things to do. So for the folks who are considering making a move from somewhere else in the country, you've been here all your life in uh -huh. this low country. What are some things that you might say as a further encouragement besides it's naturally beautiful? Well, if, if you like to shoot and fish, that, I've always said there's, there's no other place on earth to be. It truly is a sportsman's paradise. And mm -hmm. that's really why I really love working at Spring Island because we've got it all here. We've got sporting clays, we've got hunting nearby, we've got fishing on the island and then in the river. And there's just so much opportunity to get outside and enjoy it. You can be a couch potato if you want, but <laughs> there's the opportunity yeah. there to get out and do it all, so. It is, and you know, so many, so many people are into multiple interests, so, you know, well, I think, like, didn't y'all have a, a social shoot, and then people came out here for lunch, and then they went and played golf. And yep. I know guys quail hunt, and then they'll come here and play golf. I mean, it's just, everybody's doing something different all the time. Yeah, it's not uncommon for a lot of our, our members to, to go quail hunting in the morning or shoot sporting clays in the morning and then go fishing in the afternoon, hence the uh, cast and blast. I mean, that we have a tournament cast and blast where oh, yeah. you go fishing uh -huh. half the day and you shoot the other half and we combine the scores so it's a fun fun tournament <laughs> quite a lot of things to enjoy for sure christian thank you for sharing about all that but you all stick around we're going to be learning a little bit more about spring island when we're back with 843 tv